the attention to detail that the Marine Corps taught me transferred very nicely into the non-destructive inspection field because I'm, lo I'm looking for minute flaws. You know, you always see the uh, commercials and, and things of that nature. Everything says, you know, the Marines are the few, the proud. And coming from a large family, I wanted to put my stamp on my life. So that took me to that, that, uh, that route. I pretty much stayed in the uh, automotive uh, repair, you know, fixing uh, trucks like the Humvees or the, uh, the, the large five ton or two and a half ton trucks. I was deployed to Saudi Arabia for Desert Shield and Desert Storm. I got a new perspective on the world from that. While I was on terminal leave, I, I was in this area, in the, in the Fort Lewis, Tacoma area. So looking around, I found this job. Initially I applied for one of the technicians positions because that was more in line with what I was doing in the military. After applying and, uh, and waiting while I was offered a job in the inspections, doing non-destructive inspections, and I really didn't know what that was. So uh, they hired me on and gave me the, uh, the education here at the company. An airplane isn't necessarily a truck. You still have the, the, the basics of parts under stress, you know, you know how a nut and a bolt work, you know, the, uh, as you tighten the nut down, the, the threads kind of stretch out a bit, you know, and a, a nut failing in a car is the same as, a, as something failing in, a, in an aircraft. So knowing how stresses work in an engine or transmission can translate into the aviation community because an engine is an engine, a pump is a pump, you know, and uh, pistons, you know, they're, 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 they're all kind of interchangeable. When I'm testing with the magnetic particle inspections, I'm taking parts that are ferrous, you know, stuff that a magnet will stick to, and I'm applying voltage through it and basically turning each part into a magnet. And the fluid that I'm using in, in that technique has very fine particles in it that will be drawn to that magnetic field where there's a crack because if you've ever had a horseshoe magnet, you've got a north and south, and if you stick it in the dirt, you get all the little iron filings sticking to the, to the ends of the magnet. It's the same technique because wherever there's a crack, you're gonna have a north and south pole, and those little filings are gonna just line up on that thing, and when you throw it under the ultraviolet light, it's basically a drawing a line saying, Hey, I'm here, I'm a crack. The attention to detail that the Marine Corps taught me transferred very nicely into the non-destructive inspection field because I'm, lo I'm looking for minute flaws. You don't have to have beyond a high school education to initiate the training, but having any kind of a, a, a technical background from the military gives you that head start.